Prepare your taste bud for a mouth-watering adventure as we embark on a culinary journey through the vibrant streets and hidden alleyways of Taichung. From sizzling street food store to a tea house which claimed to have invented the world-famous Taiwan bubble tea, we got you covered. So, join us on this unforgettable culinary experience. Today is our second day here at Taichung. We don't have attractions to visit, but we have a lot of food to eat. And behind us is the second market. Yeah, we will be heading in later to see what are some of the food they offer. Our first stop of the day is supposed to be the Di Er Shi Shang, the second market in Taichung. But once we alighted from the bus, we saw this shop. This is also one of the famous stores that sell fried dough and it has been endorsed by a lot of Taiwanese TV programs. And we bought two. Based on online article, this store has been here many years ago and it's a fried red bean dough. The dough is very dense and then they deep fried it with the red bean inside. It's just like the Hum Jin Bang in Singapore but smaller version. One dough only costs $6. We are now at Arashi Min's Meat Shop and we bought a guru fan with meatball and also a combo soup. The meat pork is very saltish but it tastes good when you eat it together with the rice. The meatball is juicy. Let me taste the chili. It looks like a normal chili sauce. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, can you imagine? The chili sauce has the sour plum taste. Very unique, but I don't really like it. <laughs> Next up, the combo soup. In the combo soup, there are wonton, meatball, fish cake, and two radish. Taste test for the fish cake. It's ngong hyong. They deep fried this ngong hyong before they dip inside the soup. Next, another version of the meatball. This meatball is different from the one with the rice. This meatball is with the dried orange skin, similar to the one we had in Macau. Next, wonton. The wonton tastes pretty normal. Overall, the food in this shop has a stronger flavour. I think that's the reason why this shop is so famous. Just opposite the street of the second market is this restaurant called Ting San. This store has been operating since 1909 and we are here to eat a Taichung specialty called the Ma Wan which is similar to the Sun Kui we have in Singapore but inside it is meat. So prior to adding all the sauces, they actually deep fried this and now it's time to taste it. Feel very hot. The skin itself is thicker than the Sun Kui skin and it's chewier. Inside is chunky meat, so it's not minced meat, there are actually chunks of meat inside. What gives this dish a special taste is the sauce that they add. It gives a very smooth texture to this whole dish. The skin reminds me of those thick Kui skin, maybe three times thicker, so it might be a little bit filling. Something you have to try here when you are in Taichung. Our stay in this second market is very quick because it is 2 p.m. now and most of the food store has closed. So if you want to head here, do come early. The one thing we noticed when we arrived here at Taichung is that there is a lot of public shops. And we found out that Taichung has two tea houses who mentioned that they are the origin of the famous Taiwanese public tea. So we are at one of them, it's called Chun Sui Tao. Before we came here, I thought that it would be just a normal store. But this store is actually a full fresh tea house and it has really very good vibes. This is the original company. We bought the biggest up bubble tea we can get our hands on. And normally when we buy bubble tea, we will always have it with less sugar or zero sugar. But for this and only this, we will have it at the original amount of sugar because we want to capture the authentic taste of this original bubble tea. So now, it's time to taste it. The tea has a very unique taste to it. Adding that with the milk really, really very good. The bubble itself is not really very soft and it seems that the bubble, they don't really have syrup. So you can actually taste the chewiness and the texture of the bubble instead of it being flooded with syrup. Really good. So this on the left here is the origin of handmade drinks and it is the Uva black tea. Taste test for this black tea. I don't usually like 
black tea and the reason why is because after you drink it, there is always a bitter aftertaste. So this also has the bitter aftertaste. You can taste the syrup inside, that the flavor of the tea. If you are here, get this, get the fingers cut, you can. 100% Our next food item and another must eat here at Taichung is the Hong Rui Zhen sandwich. So Hong Rui Zhen sandwiches has several outlets. The packaging might be a little bit different. Ours is just a white wrapper without any logo on it. So we have ordered the strawberry one and the original. So I shall try the original flavor first. In my last visit to Taiwan, I actually fell in love with these sandwiches. So it's a must eat when you're here. Let's just hope that it is of the same taste and as good as I remembered it. So it might look like a plain, ordinary sandwich, but it's not. The cream is slightly sweet. The bread is soft and fluffy. And that mixes very well with the thin egg and ham that is inside the sandwich. You have to try it. It's a simple yet delicious sandwich. Next up is the strawberry flavoured one, very nice colour. The strawberry jam is not really very very sweet but the thing is that you can't really taste the cheese. The sweetness of the cream and the strawberry has overpowered the cheese at the centre but still the bread soft and fluffy. Really, you have to try this if you are here in Taichung or go to any one of their outlets. Our very last food item of the day is a humble store diagonally opposite the Fengjia University and it's called Xie Zia Ren Che Lumping, which is a urban yaki store and how we found this is that we were searching online for the top few places to eat at Taichung and this came out as one of them We ordered two urban yaki, one is the yam version and one is the red bean version and they have very nice cute markings on them Okay, now for the taste test. These are freshly made. We actually waited for a few minutes for them to be made. And once we got hold of them, there's a very strong smell of the buttermilk. And when I bite into it, the exterior is slightly crispy. The red bean is not really sweet, but you can taste the actual red bean flavor. So it's really very good. Based on what the store owner said, all the ingredients are freshly and manually made. They are not packaged or processed ingredients. And now on to the next flavor we ordered, which is the yam flavor. So as you can see here, they actually mark the taro flavor flavor with a triangle so you know which is which. Okay, now taste test for the taro one. Bacteria also very crispy, very hot because it's freshly made. The taro, you can actually taste bits and pieces of taro. It's not those processed ones where it's just like a paste form of the taro. This one has bit and pieces of yam. So if you are ever here and you are near Feng Jia, consider walking to the Feng Jia University diagonally opposite to visit this shop. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like and subscribe button for more travel related videos.